Greetings and thank you so much for the opportunity to come to you today and spend this time with you. This week, uh, I'm just taking the liberty to share some stories from my life, the early days of uh, walking with God. And uh, I hope that these little stories will be of encouragement to you. So going back to the year 1980, 1982, as a 13-year-old, um, something God was doing something in my heart. I, like I said, uh, there was nobody forcing me or uh, uh, pushing me to do these things, but it was just, just flowing in my heart. And uh, I started reading my Bible. Uh, and I remember initially I would read the read a passage, five minutes. Then it would become, it became 15 minutes, then 30 minutes. Uh, so I would do this in the morning before going to school. So 7 a.m. was the time that I had to start getting ready to uh, getting ready for going to school. So I would start getting up earlier in the mornings because I just felt the need to have more time to read the Bible. And also when I started praying in tongues, I realized I could pray more. I needed more time. And so this is what happened in my life. Again, I'm not saying you have to do this, but very soon I started waking up at four o'clock in the morning because I wanted to have three hours with God every day. So 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. was my time with God every day before I went to, got ready to go to school. It was so very precious that that time, I guarded that time. Now, again, I, I just learned to trust God. There was a verse that was very special, Isaiah chapter 50 and verse four, where the Bible says, he wakens me morning by morning. He wakens my ear to hear as the learned. So I used to pray, I said, God, please wake me up tomorrow at four o'clock. I would go to sleep expecting to wake up. And sure enough, I would be awake sometimes at 3.45, sometimes at, you know, four or a little before four. I'd go and make some tea and then I'd go lock myself in the room. And for three hours, I would spend an hour and a half in prayer, an hour and a half in the word of God. Then at seven o'clock, I'll come out, start getting ready for school. And that became a, my daily routine from that, from my eighth grade on through, you know, college and so on. So it became my practice. And one of the things that really motivated me was, of course, the life of Jesus. In Mark 1 verse 35, the Bible says, in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place and there he prayed. I felt if Jesus would do that, if he would wake up very early in the morning and go and pray, I must also do it. So I wanted to follow that example. And looking back today, I can say that that time with God and trying to maintain that time with God through the years is the core, is the foundation of a strong life in God. I want to encourage you to do that. It may not be in the morning, it may be any time during the day, it may be in the night, but your time with God, let it grow and let it take you deeper and deeper in God. So have passion for his presence. Let everything flow out of that. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the grace that you give us. The grace that empowers us to seek you, seek your presence. Pour out more of that grace, Father, upon us to seek you more and more in prayer and in your word. And let that be the center of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.